little thing I just added to that. I think we tend to very much uh, simplify and say, well, you know, open source behaves like this and proprietary technology behaves like this. The reality is um, every domain and every type of software has a different type of landscape to it when you look at, you know, whether it's a database, whether it's a web server, whether it's a desktop OS. I mean, the, 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 the various nuances between what's open source and what's proprietary uh, are diff very different. And so one of the things in terms of that assessment of risk and in ter determination, that you, you really have to look at it specifically around the specific software type, the types that you require and need. You'll say, who's there that could support me if we need that? Are we willing to invest in the people ourselves so that we don't need that support in it if we're going to use open source technology? You just look at those scenarios. How active is an open source project? Dead, is it open? I mean, or and converse versa is are the vendors these software actually progressively moving their proprietary software in an active way? So you kind of have to take these many variables and assessing it. But I think what's viable, I mean, the most viable thing you can say is you know let's not think about whether we are we going to choose open source or not. Don't go there. What are going? Let's choose the best software solutions for our environment, and let's look at the alternatives, recognizing that some of those will be open source ones. And make a decision, you know, based on your level of comfort in terms of risk and support and all the other issues that you need there on deciding what you really need. And, and that way you will get the best decision, right? It won't necessarily be open source. In fact, many times it won't be. But at least you'll come to the right decision.